tight. I'm joined now from Capitol Hill by Congressman Dave Reichert of Washington State. He is a chair of the Law Enforcement Caucus. He served in law enforcement uh, for 33 years. Congressman Reichert, thank you so much uh, for joining me. I know you're very busy today. Based on what we know at this point about the events uh, here in, in Dallas, was there was there anything that could have been done to prevent the shootings here? Well, I think that's a question that the local authorities uh, are going to have to answer once they gather um, all the facts and complete their investigation. But, uh, you know, I, I listened to the words of my uh, colleague here in Washington, D.C., John Lewis. I, I agree that we're all one people. Um, I agree that there's too much violence. And, uh, and in fact, uh, I've approached John Lewis um, uh, in the past and, and also just as recent as this morning and said, John, you know, you and I together could be a strong voice in helping bringing America together. African-American Democrat, civil rights leader, Caucasian, uh, Republican male, uh, career law enforcement. Uh, what better partners could we put together right now today to really send a clear message to the American citizens that we want peace in this country and that we need to work together to prevent things uh, like this that, that happened in Dallas and in other parts of our country over the past year or two? Uh, Congressman, um let me preface this by saying at this point, we do not know precisely um, how this, this guy uh, got his hands on these weapons. We don't know whether um, the weapon was obtained uh, legally or illegally, uh, but it is difficult to dispute that you've got a guy who had um, military-style weaponry uh, picking off police officers uh, in the streets of Dallas. He outgunned them, um, so to speak. Uh, to a certain extent at least. Does it make sense uh, that citizens are able to possess the kind of weaponry uh, that he had last night and fire off uh, the number of, of shells that he was able to fire off um, in, in, in such a short period of time? Does that make sense to you? I think the other thing coupled with this is this is a, a person at least that I've been hearing on the news too and again that's where I'm getting my information is that he also had military training so that even complicates things uh, more but this is not about the, the guns this is about um, how, how do we reduce gun crime how do we reduce violence how do we bring civility back to America and um, as the uh, the chair of the police and community task force here in DC and bringing people from Baltimore and other parts of the country together to talk about how we got here in the first place and how we bridge that gap uh, and also as the chair of the law enforcement caucus um, I, I think we're going to come to some answers. I, I had a discussion this morning with um, um, our leadership team, uh, Majority Leader uh, Kevin McCarthy, with the Speaker uh, not too long ago. Uh, there are discussions occurring now with Steny Hoyer. But next week, we're going to be, uh, be having discussions on how as members of Congress can set an example on civility and how we should be treating each other with respect and dignity and equality across this country. And I think we have to lead by example. That's first of all. Second, if we want to talk about gun crime, then you've got to stop this argument about gun control. We've got to focus on saving Congressman. lives. Yes. Con Cong Congressman, as you well know, um, even researching gun violence in this country is something that has been stymied um, in, in, in your chamber for a number of years now. Um, and, and you say it's not about guns, and I, I certainly don't want to have that conversation right now. Right. But this guy didn't he, didn't, he didn't stab the officers to death. He didn't bludgeon them to death. He, he shot them. So, so in well, a hey, sense, look, yeah, it's, it's got to be you know a what? little bit about you're guns. Look, you're talking to a guy that spent 33 years in law enforcement. Um, I wasn't shot, but I was stabbed and nearly killed. So I know there's other ways to kill people, and there are people out there that want to do harm to people in our community. And those are the people that we need to focus on and we need to stop from doing violence, and no matter what weapon they use. And one of the, the, the programs that I'm interested in revitalizing is Project Safe Neighborhoods. That's a project that reduced gun crime, that was a Bush-Cheney uh, initiative that has been 
defunded under the Obama administration, and we're actually trying to refund, get that funded and refocus our efforts on focusing on those people who want to do harm across their country, not only with guns, but with any kind of a weapon. Congressman, we will, uh, we will leave it there, sir. I, uh, again, right. I appreciate your time um, on, uh, on this day in, in Dallas.